Everyone is talking about AI, generative AI, LLMs, machine learning. But what do all these big terms really mean? Don't worry, I'm here to explain it in all super simple language and that too in under 10 minutes. So keep watching and by the end of the video, you'll have a clear understanding of all the basic details about AI without the tech heading. Artificial intelligence, AI means teaching computers and machines to do things that normally needs human thinking. For example, AI can help machines see like humans, vision, understand speech like talking to Siri or Alexa, make decisions like choosing the best route in Google Maps, understand and respond to language like chatbots or translations. AI isn't just one technology, it's a goal to make machines as smart as humans. Generative AI, on the other hand, is a special type of artificial intelligence. While regular AI is used to predict things, find information or sort data like spam detection or document classification, generative AI, also called Gen AI, goes a step further. It can create new things like images like art or photos, videos, text like stories or emails, code like software programs. The goal of Gen AI is to make content that is just as useful or creative as what humans make. Now the foundation of AI. Modern AI is built on foundation of data science and machine learning. The primary goal of AI is to use machines for capabilities that are usually associated with humans. Let's explore data science concepts that support the foundation of AI. What is data science? Data science is a field that mixes maths, statistics and computer science to understand and use data. The main goal of data science is to help create artificial intelligence by teaching machines how to learn from data. Data science scientists are the people who work with data to find patterns, make predictions and solve problems often to build smart systems using machine learning. Machine learning is a way to teach computers to learn from data and find patterns without being directly told what to do. It works like this. You give the computer lots of examples, that is data. It uses algorithms, step-by-step -step instructions to find patterns in that data. Over time, it learns and gets better and better at making predictions or decisions on new data. The more data it gets, the smarter it gets. For examples, email spam detection. ML, that is machine learning, can learn to spot spam emails by noticing words like free or guarantee, suspicious links or known spam email addresses. Deep learning is a special type of machine learning. It works more like how the human brain learns using something called an artificial neural network, which is a system of connected node like brain cells that pass information to each other. It can find complex pattern in data on its own without needing much help from humans. It works best with structured data like images, audits, and text. It needs a lot of data and powerful computers to work with. Let's talk about career opportunities in AI because this isn't just for coders or scientists anymore. If you are from a technical background and you can go for roles like data scientist, someone who works with data to find insights, machine learning engineers, someone who builds models that learn from data, or even an AI product manager who decides how AI features should work in an app or products. But here is the best part. You don't need to be a tech expert to be a part of the AI way. People in marketing, content creation, design, or even customer services are now using AI tools to save time, improve results and create smarter strategies. And yes, even for freelancers, they are riding this AI way. Whether it's writing content, editing videos, creating designs or analyzing data, tools like ChatGPT, Midjourney and Canva AI are helping. Soul creators work like full teams now. AI is so powerful, but with great power comes great responsibility. That's why we need something called responsible AI. It means making sure that AI is used in the right way, fair, safe, honest, and respectful of people's privacy. For example, AI can now create fake videos of real people doing things they never actually did. This is called a deep fake. Imagine showing a video of a someone of a, at an event they never really attended. That's not okay. And it can harm their reputation. Responsible AI means not using AI to trick people making sure it's fair and unbiased. 
keeping personal data private and secure, being open and honest about how AI works. In short, AI should help people, not hurt them. So what's next? AI is here to stay, just like electricity changed the world over 100 years ago. AI is now powering the technology we use every day, from your phone to your favorite apps. The best part, you don't need to be a coder or a tech expert to understand the use of AI. Whether you are a student, a freelancer, a small business owner or just curious, AI tools are made for everyone. All you need to do is start exploring and stay open to learning and experiment with the tools around you. Because in this new world, those who understand AI, even just the basics will have a bigger advantage. Now, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more simple tech explainers. If you have got a topic you want us to simplify next time, drop it in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And also, hey, if you are someone who knows how to build AI agents or work with them, or work with AI tools, we are looking for you. Head over to www.nocodework.com and sign up as a freelancer. The team will contact you.